If you're curious about how I added the fire breathing VFX to my wyvern, let me show you my process. First, I'll create a flamethrower VFX in a separate file. Realistic VFX can be quite heavy, so I recommend starting fresh in a new file. After exporting the VFX to a VDB folder, I'll now show you how to use it in a different file. As you can see, this is the folder after you've downloaded and extracted it. The free download link is in the description below. Now let's go to add, volume, import open VDB, and navigate to the flamethrower underscore VDB folder. What? We need to adjust the VDB position and use an empty to control its direction. Blender's VDB import often places it awkwardly. This VFX was created and exported entirely in Blender. If anyone knows about this issue, please comment with an explanation. I've looked through many topics, but none address the position of VDB imports in Blender. Now, just add the material for the VFX. It's simple, set the temperature to around 1800 and increase the black body intensity from 0 to 1 and you're good to go. Now, let's apply this VFX to the wyvern. The process is almost the same. Import the VDB, then create an empty at the origin, adjust the VDB's position, and set the empty as the parent. Next, add the material and adjust the settings as previously mentioned. But you need to time the VFX to start at the right moment in the wyvern's animation. In the data properties, adjust the start frame to match the wyvern's flame animation, which seems to be around frames 55 to 60. Now, I just need to adjust the position and set a keyframe to make the fire gradually fade out when the wyvern's flame animation ends. Then it's complete! One last note before we finish, the current VFX is exported at a standard level for general use. If you need more realistic VFX, I've prepared a realistic bake folder for you. A resolution division of 320 or higher will produce very realistic VFX, but be advised it can be quite heavy. Consider your computer's capabilities before using it. Set precision volume to full, then click bake and wait for your computer to process. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to motivate me to make more videos. See you next time.